Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weeps. What's up, folks? In the last bit, I was talking about activity life cycle. We tried to get into the details of activities and understand how they work, how the different methods interact, what happens when your activity is destroyed, what happens when the user pauses, and stuff like that. In this bit, I'm going to talk about screen orientation. This is a small bit. It's going to deal with one simple concept: how to switch your app to work only on landscape or portrait, and how to capture that event when things change using some method called config on configuration changed so it's a pretty simple bit i'm gonna go ahead let me show you what i mean so here if you see this is uh, basically android devices have orientation the vertical one is called portrait the horizontal one is called landscape your app can be in either portrait or landscape mode if you guys remember you turn your device and the orientation changes naturally right so if you remember the activity life cycle uh, every time your orientation changes your activity is destroyed and recreated by using those life cycle methods which we have discussed in the last vid so what i'm going to show you in this vid is if you see this portrait one the like this is pretty awkward right you guys notice that the app has actually not adjusted itself it is still in landscape mode despite the fact that the device is vertical it's in portrait right so i'm going to show you how to make an app in such a way that it is fixed in one orientation and it does not change but remember this is not useful at all the user is going to delete your app if he sees an app like this i personally get pissed off when people make apps that don't change orientations all right so let me go ahead in eclipse and show you how this thing is done and later let me show you how to capture that in your program right so let me go on so here in eclipse i have nothing i'm going to make a new project by saying file new and our application project i'll call this orientation test give it a package name slidenet.weeps click next no need for custom launcher click next keep it as it is click finish so at this point eclipse does all the hard work for you guys you don't have to write anything you don't have to do anything we just have to go ahead and run this i have already started my emulator if you guys don't know how to start your emulator you can go to window you can go to android virtual device manager here i have my device just go there and click on start and your emulator will be up and running so here my emulator is still running let me launch this app on it by selecting the app clicking run all right so at this point my app has been launched completely on the emulator as you guys can see there's nothing special about it it's just a plain hello world app now if i want to change the orientation i will hold control and press f11 control f11 as you guys can see it's changing the orientation and it's destroying and it's recreating the activity and as you guys can see it has adjusted right so what i want is i do not want this to adjust i want this to keep it in a fixed orientation so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into your manifest file so as you guys can see there are a lot of things over here and this is the part which we are interested in which says activity here i'm going to set something called screen orientation for this activity i want the screen orientation at as landscape regardless of what the user is doing all right so for that i'll say screen control space at that point it's going to give me the automatic option i'm going to say android screen orientation and it again if you press control space it shows you the values over here I want landscape at all costs. I don't want the orientation to change in any case. So I'm going to say control S for saving this. Again, going to go ahead and deploy this by selecting it and running it above. As you guys can see, my device is currently in landscape mode and my app is also in landscape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the device into portrait, but my app is still going to remain in landscape because I have written the Android screen orientation as landscape over here. So let me go ahead and do that. Again, take the take your emulator and press control F11. As you guys can see now my activity is not destroyed in the uh, the orientation is fixed to landscape mode so even when the user is holding the device vertically it stays there all right now this is not recommended because it goes against the rule of usability if you guys remember so now uh, since i have shown you how this is done programmatically let me go ahead and show you how this can be captured in your java code 